Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called calcium gluconate, and calcium gluconate falls under the class of electrolyte. Your indications are going to be beta blocker and calcium channel blocker overdoses, magnesium sulfate overdoses, hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia, and topical burns. Topical burns specifically associated with hydrofluoric acid. The mechanism of action of calcium gluconate is that it stabilizes the membranes of the cardiac cells, and it also counteracts hyperkalemia. This reduces the chance of fibrillation. Relation. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The adult dose is 500 milligrams to 1 gram, and this is 5 to 10 milliliters. So 1 milliliter equals 100 milligrams. Your pediatric dose is 60 milligrams per kilogram or 0.6 milliliters per kilogram. Contraindications include digitalis toxicity, suspected hypercalcemia or hypokalemia, and ventricular fibrillation. Adverse reactions reactions can include but aren't limited to syncope, bradycardia, cardiac arrest, hypotension, dysrhythmias, peripheral vasodilation, nausea, vomiting, and tissue necrosis at the injection site. And just a couple of drug interactions to be aware of. Calcium gluconate can antagonize the effects of calcium channel blockers and also do not mix with sodium bicarbonate. How it's supplied. It is in a 1 gram in 10 milliliter vial, but if you're using the gel for the topical burns, it's going to be a 2.5% gel and it's supplied in a 25 gram tube. A few side notes about calcium gluconate. Do not administer through the same line as sodium bicarbonate. This is actually very important. You really shouldn't administer anything through the same line, but especially sodium bicarbonate. Infiltration of the line can cause tissue necrosis at the injection site, so just make sure you have a big healthy vein whenever you're administering calcium gluconate. A rapid injection of calcium gluconate can cause cardiac arrest or severe hypotension or bradycardia, so just be aware of that. And you may be wondering what the main difference between calcium chloride versus calcium gluconate is because I have done a video over calcium chloride, and I'll go ahead and link that in the right upper corner, but it basically boils down to the amount of elemental calcium. Calcium chloride actually has three times more elemental calcium in the 10 milliliters. As always, guys, please remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!